now to NBC Universal's investigation into multiple allegations of sexual harassment. NBC Stephanie Gosk is following that. Has the latest. Hey, Steph. Guys, good morning. A team of NBC investigators say they spoke with 68 people as part of the internal review, including current and former management and staff members. It was led by NBC Universal's general counsel, but some critics now say the network should have hired a third party investigator instead. This morning, NBC Universal's investigation into multiple accusations of sexual misconduct against former Today Show anchor Matt Lauer is over. The report concluded, we found no evidence indicating that any NBC News or Today Show leadership, News HR or others in positions of authority in the news division received any complaints about Lauer's workplace behavior prior to November 27, 2017. That's when a woman came forward to the company with accusations against Lauer. We are devastated. All the way in, all the way in, he was fired roughly 24 hours later. Three other women then reported allegations to the company dating back to 2000. The investigation team says it found all four women to be credible. Two of the four complainants who came forward said they believe former NBC News or Today Show leadership knew or must have known about Lauer's alleged inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. The NBC investigators say they found no proof of that. In a new statement, Lauer says in part, there are aspects of the NBC report with which I clearly disagree, adding that after he was fired, I took responsibility for those relationships and apologized to the people I hurt and promised to begin the process of repairing the damage I had caused my family. I have worked every day since then to honor that promise. Ari Wilkenfeld, the attorney for the employee who first accused Lauer, criticized NBC's decision not to hire an outside investigative firm. Whenever you see in a report like this that people are still nervous about coming forward, that's time to shut down the internal investigation and bring someone in from the outside. An NBC Universal spokesperson calls the investigation thorough and objective, noting two outside law firms validated its findings. The report concludes there is not a current culture of harassment in the news division. And just ahead on NBC News at Sunrise. But Linda Vester, who last month accused NBC's Tom Brokaw of sexual harassment in the 90s, echoes concerns, writing in the Washington Post, I want NBC to stop fighting Me Too within its own walls. I ask NBC Universal to retain an outside investigator to look into sexual harassment and any cover-up of sexual harassment at NBC News. Brokaw has vehemently denied Vester's allegations. In a note to employees, NBC News chairman Andy Lack announced changes to some of the policy here, including new ways for employees to report complaints. An internal team of counselors will be available, as well as a company affiliated with an outside law firm that people can contact. Chairman Lack also added, we cannot change the past. What we can do is learn from it and try to make it right, guys. Thanks, Steph. And in the meantime, there's also another aspect to the Me Too movement. Harvey Weinstein's wife is speaking out for the first time since their separation. And just curious what she's saying. That's right. She's speaking to Georgina Chapman. She's speaking to Vogue. They are in, still married, but going through divorce proceedings. Among the things that she says, quote, there was a part of me that was terribly naive, clearly so naive. I have moments of rage. I have moments of confusion. I have moments of disbelief. And I have moments when I just cry for my children what are their lives going to be mm. guys oh. stephanie thank, thank you. you stephanie mm -hmm. hello today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives